This is the Transformers Masterpiece MP25L Loud Pedal Vestron Sonic Sapper by Takara Tony. And this is the third, I think, incarnation of this mold, the Trax mold, which has been reincarnated as Road Rage and now as Loud Pedal. It comes in this, feels like a foil stamped box with just a very shiny deco of loud pedal. Everything is all silver and very shiny, very hard to appreciate Appreciate the box. It's all done in silver monochrome, but very, very nice. Um, let me just show you. He also comes with a nice uh, instruction sheet, the usual suspect, I mean, the usual things that came with it and a description of what he came with. The Sound Warrior MC21 instead of Blaster. Or, yeah. And then uh, he has a hypersonic cutter, which I suppose is that. And also a, a flight stand, uh, which I'll show you in a little while. Hypersonic, the mass driver rifle, hypersonic cutter, MC21 Warrior. And the figure is actually a Holo Matter Avatar. I suppose it's a hologram. Simono Shadow logo for the uh, decals. Uh, the stickers I've not applied, and that's the Simono logo. The side mirrors and a trading card. There you go. Also a purple, plastic purple flight stand, which you already know what a flight stand is. I'm not going to show that anymore. Uh, so it, it's just a repaint, uh, redeco of, of the previously released MP25 uh, figures. We got Trax and we got Road Rage. So I'm not going to talk about too much about the about the details of the figure because I've already done reviews of these two other figures and the articulation is essentially the same. The transformation is essentially the same. Um, the parts are essentially the same. And if you notice, the only difference being really is, well, the paint apps, obviously. This is like a Decepticon version of Trax. Uh, and he's got that Decepticon logo, which you can cover up if you want to. Uh, he comes with the Road Rage weapon done in gray. Still comes with this, which is uh, for, for the alt mode. The Sound Warrior, which is just a repaint of Blaster and the other figure. And this is a repaint of Raul and the Hollow, what is it? The Hollow Matter Avatar. Uh, the same mold, the same figure, they just repainted it differently uh, to make him look more badass. So essentially just a lot of repaints. The main difference really is the head sculpt. And as you can see, it's very, it's quite different uh, from the previous, from the previous uh, figures of Trax and Road Rage. Let's see if I can focus on that. Uh, as you can see, this is the cartoon accurate. This is a female fembot head, and this is looking to be like a toy accurate sculpt, but with different colors, obviously. So, what are you really getting with this figure? It's uh, I get it, it's really the deco that you're buying, um, the exclusivity, I suppose. Uh, and who wouldn't want a black version of Trax? I mean, for me, I'm I'm very biased. I'm, I'm very bi biased, absolutely, because Trax was my first Transformers ever, the G1 Trax, and very special place in my heart. So that every time I get a track, I see an incarnation of Trax in the universe or the classics or whatever uh, line I just have to get it uh, <laughs> and in the masterpiece line um, you can already assume that I've gotten them because of sentimental value so that's just it um, the, a, a black version black and purple version of the tracks mold so we'll keep these two here that's really what you're getting and, and if you if you didn't enjoy these this mold there's no reason why you should enjoy i don't think it'll change your mind about this one but if you did like these mold this is a wonderful addition to your masterpiece shelf as well as to your tracks uh, collection uh, great great mold a uh, great redeco by takara tomi so i'm not going to transform him into his um, jet mode or flight mode we'll transform him into a car so you'll be able to see and appreciate um, 
him in alt mode. So we'll get rid of these guys. You guys stay here for a while. Um, and the gimmick for the uh, for for this one uh, is essentially the same. Uh, there's nothing changed about it, uh, as well as the gun. The gun you can peg onto the underside, just like Road Rage. So I'm not gonna talk about that anymore. Let's transform it. Um, let's see if I still remember. Go ahead and rotate. Uh, fold the feet up. you guys what the hell okay let's not spend too much time here okay okay fold this up okay fold it back ah there you go I'm supposed to fold it backwards You think after transforming tracks in Road Rage, I'd already be a master at transforming this one, right? Just make sure the knees and the thighs are aligned. You don't want anything jamming it. Okay, there you go. first okay. okay and close this and again the radio accessory can fit there as well and uh, well that's it there's another tracks gun okay um, do this and do this do this and do this something like that Rotate this assembly. Make sure you collapse these two properly. Let's do this one first. Okay, we'll fix that later. Just make sure the back part is on squarely. here and join the arms together or not okay there you go loud pedal in his Corvette Stingray C3 alt mode and again this one will fit nicely here if you can there. need that so very very nice ah, I love black transformers like Optimus Prime or Megatron done in black they absolutely just to bring out the best in the mold. I, I love this. Even the deco, the flame shield deco, the Decepticon logo, just absolutely amazing. But it's the Stingray logo in silver. The rims are painted. 
just amazing. There's, there's not much you can complain about this figure. If, if you love the Trax mold, you're going to absolutely love this one. Uh, it, it, it's just remarkable. I'm, I'm glad Takara Tomi uh, did this redeco uh, for collectors, for masterpiece collectors out there. It's going to be a great, great addition to your masterpiece shelf. So there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this little video review. This has been the Transformers Masterpiece MP25L Loud Pedal. Thanks for watching.